Trenton, are you okay? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't been feeling 100% myself lately. And on top of that, I had a rough start to the school year, so I'm really stressed out about that. I'm already behind on some work, and I'm just not feeling super motivated. I totally understand how you're feeling. What do you usually do to relieve your stress? Well, I like shooting hoops or listening to music, but I feel like lately I've been retreating to my phone too much. Way too much TikTok time. Yeah, screen time may not be the move here. Have you ever tried roller skating? I mean, at Billy Jenkins' birthday party once, but I was just hugging the wall the entire time, and when I wasn't on the wall, I was on the floor, so not for me. But what does that have to do with stress? Believe it or not, roller skating can be a form of stress release. Let me tell you more. Watch out NBA and MLB. There's a new sports league in town, the Central Park Dance Skaters Association. In New York City, thousands of people of all ages, races, and backgrounds have flocked to Central Park to join in on the fun. This nonprofit organization is putting on free roller skating parties complete with a DJ. Let's check it out. Wow, they've got mad moves. Looks pretty fun, right? Well, these people may come to the events for the music, the roller skating, or the people watching. They keep coming back for something more, their mental health. Let's now hear from some of the skaters about what this movement has done for them. So any form of physical exercise helps you deal with stress, but the added bonus with roller skating is that not only do you get the physical exercise, but you absolutely love doing it because it's not only creative, everyone has their own particular style. It takes you away from worrying about what's going on with this coronavirus and um, the bad effects of all of it. So I can stay in my house and not do nothing. So I have to come out and roller skate. I skate because it is such a release for me. It's very movement meditation and it's a very awesome community that you tap into. Um, I started skating over quarantine, so it was a time of a lot of isolation. And I saw, I'm from Oakland, California, originally from New York, but I live in Oakland, California now. And there was a bunch of skaters and it just looked so much fun. So I bought some skates and I haven't taken them off since. Is this <laughs> Seems like an amazing community. My only experience roller skating was truly scarring, but maybe I should try it again. You totally could. But don't worry, in case roller skating isn't for you, there's plenty of other ways to relieve stress. In fact, I've asked a friend and school psychiatric social worker, Miss Marina Delgado, to share some more tips with us. Listen up, because this will be good. Hi, my name is Miss Delgado, and I am an elementary school social worker. As a school social worker, I support students with their mental and social emotional health so they can do their best learning. One tip I have when you're feeling stressed is to write in a journal. Writing down our overwhelming thoughts helps get them out of our brain so we can stop focusing on them. A journal makes sure our thoughts are kept private unless you choose to share with someone you trust. Writing things down also helps us reflect on how far we've come when we're feeling better. Another way to get help with overwhelming feelings is to talk to a friend or a trusted adult. Maybe you just need a listening ear, or maybe you have questions they can help answer. A caring friend or family member can help us feel cared for when we're not feeling our best. If you're not feeling those, another great option is to make something. I love doing art that helps me feel calm, like this paint by sticker page, or coloring in a coloring book, 
or making crafts like this worry stone that I made with patterned paper and a quote that says you are magic. Making things takes my mind off of my worries and helps me feel more hopeful. I hope these ideas help relieve your stress and always remember to make your mental health a priority. Wow, thanks Ms. Delgado. I think I'm gonna try journaling. Not roller skating? Mm, not right now. I don't think my behind will be too happy about it. You gotta do what works for you. For all the viewers out there going through a stressful time, Remember that you're not alone and there's things you can do to make yourself feel better. From listening to music to roller skating, find what works for you and stick to it.